On Monday, Apple released iOS 13.5 GM build to registered developers and also to public beta testers. You should be getting this update today or at the end of this week. Apple also released Watch OS 6.2.5. Let's discuss all the changes, bug fixes and new features introduced in iOS 13.5 and 5 reasons why you should definitely update to iOS 13.5 as soon as possible. So sit back, relax and let me tell. Hello YouTube, Sufyan here from Let Me Tech and welcome to another iOS video. Now before we start with iOS news and 5 reasons why you should update to iOS 13.5 ASAP, let's talk about other things first. First of all, Apple released watchOS 6.2.5 which along with some watch faces brought ECG feature to Saudi Arabia. As we discussed in a previous video that there are some iOS bugs that are not resolved since the release of iOS 13. Those bugs are still not resolved in iOS 13.5 and we don't know when those will be resolved. Given the amount of bugs that still remain in iOS 13.5, we believe that iOS 14 will support all devices that currently support iOS 13. You can find out a previous video covering these bugs in the cards above. Now let's talk about iOS 13.5 and 5 reasons why you should definitely update as soon as possible. This update solves the crash text bug in iOS 13.4 and 13.4.1 that was causing devastation on the internet. All that needed to be done was that you send a message to someone which received some particular text and when they received a notification and that text was present in the notification, their iPhone respring. It took Apple a while to solve this issue but now in iOS 13.5 it is resolved and you should update as soon as possible. Another change in iOS 13.5 is mask detection when you are using Face ID. So now this is something that we covered in a previous video as well. What it does is that it opens up the password prompt instantly when it detects that you are wearing a face mask. Previously it took a little while before password prompt came up. This is a very welcome change given the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic when everyone has to wear a mask. So now every phone, iPhone 10, iPhone 10s and all the 11 series now detects your face and provide you the password prompt instantly so you can log into your device very quickly. iOS 13.5 brings a change to FaceTime as well. The tile of the person speaking in a FaceTime group call automatically gets larger to show prominence. With iOS 13.5 you have the option to disable this if this bothers you. Personally it does not bother me but if it bothers you you can definitely now toggle this off. Another minor feature in iOS 13.5 is that now you can share your Apple Music to Facebook and Instagram stories. This was previously not possible and apparently upon the request of an intern, this feature was added in iOS 13.5. Lastly and probably the most important feature in iOS 13.5 is the COVID-19 exposure logging system. Apple has again made changes to this COVID-19 exposure logging section from the last beta. The text description is once again changed and a learn more section is added for detailed description if you want to go through that. Disable exposure log button is grayed out by default. So now if you do not have any log into your device, this button stays disabled. Apple added another section of exposure checks which basically allows you to see which apps and which devices requested to see the status of your device. Another change Apple made is that now once you go into privacy, you will see that whether this contact tracing is on or off. Right under its title, you will see the on or off text. That is all for today. If you want to see detailed coverage of iOS 13.5, you can definitely check our previous video. It should be here in the cards above. Let us know if there is any feature that excites you and will you be updating to iOS 13.5 soon. Stay home, stay safe. Until next time, over and out.